saw is a 1968 Charger. We've had this for about seven months now. I'm just making a video on it. So a little backstory on how we got the car. I don't know if you guys remember my one of my earlier videos, I showed my dad's red Charger. It was a 70. So we ended up finding this one because my dad's always wanted a 68. Um, the difference is the 68, it doesn't have the, the bumper that sticks out, the chrome bumper like the 70. And then the difference between this and the 69 is it doesn't have the little uh, the little split down the grill. And then the other difference is also in the, uh, the tail lights. So I think 69 and 70 have the same tail lights, but 68 has uh, two circles. So when we got this, it had the, uh, it's not the original motor, but it was a 68 or a 69 block 440. Um, we pulled that out first thing when we got it because it looked like it was at the bottom of a lake. I think this is a Texas car, so maybe it was flooded. Um, so basically all we've done so far I uh, I bought those uh, front brake lines because didn't have any I put those in uh, because once you put the motor in there's no way we're gonna be able to get to that and then we got this wiring harness just for the engine it doesn't nothing else it's still missing two of the bulkhead connectors but I think this is the main one that you need to run the motor um, so we got that and honestly that's pretty much all we've done um, I'll go ahead and show you guys the motor right now all right, so this is a 69 440 uh, block that was in the motor. I got my 70 340 Cuda back there. I also have to make a video on that one. But um, yeah, so this is the motor. Uh, I ended up taking the intake because we used it on another 440 and I needed some of the push rods. Um, but yeah, like if you look inside, there's just a bunch of crap in here. So that for sure needs to be rebuilt. Uh, the motor that we're gonna stick in here is this motorhome 440 as you can see right here we actually ran it i'll put a video of that we fired it up um like six years ago so this was originally going to go in the red charger but we ended up getting a donor truck that had a, a better 440 in it but this this is the one that's going to be going into that charger Now this 440 actually came in my uh, CUDA that you guys saw just a while ago. This is the motor that we wanted to put into the charger because um, it looked like it's been rebuilt at some point. This is the heads look like they've uh, seen better days, but uh, everything else, we took the oil pan off, we looked underneath and it looks like this thing was just put together. Um, we tried starting it up, but it wouldn't, it would just crank, but it wouldn't, um, actually fire up. So we think something is up with the timing, but so this is probably going to go in the charger later on. Um, this is a, I think it's a 72 block. I'm not sure. Let's see. So yeah, 72 block. So it's not too bad of a motor obviously the better one to be rebuilt would be the 69 block but um yeah this one's cool and then i ended up using my uh four speed my four speed um bell housing for it that i got for my 340 cuda i also got the four speed for the cuda so we used that with the flywheel try to fire it up but it didn't fire up so here's the fender tag for any of you guys who are curious um, I did decode this a while back. It's just a regular 318 car. 
Um, it's pretty much it's pretty much original, except for obviously you know the paint. I don't know what's up with the paint. It used to be, I think it was a uh, that one. I don't know if it's F8 green or whatever that green is called. I think it's a pretty nice color. Um, it had the white interior, vinyl seats, and buckets. And then the console, which is really cool. This is exactly what my dad wanted because uh, the last charger was a bench seat. Um, so this is a lot better. Obviously, it, I mean, it's pretty solid. Uh, you see there's been rats in here. We still got to clean it out uh, But it's pretty solid. Uh, there's no rust It just uh, you know Just needs to be cleaned up probably a uh, Sandblasted I don't know but yeah, it's a pretty solid car My dad already bought like the painless wiring harness and all that for later on. We just want to run it as is for now and then we'll uh, He'll want to get a paint job for that so what I'm going to be doing in this video is putting some wheels on it because I think one of them has a flat and these we just need some better looking wheels to get some motivation. So we actually got quite the selection of wheels. I'm going to show you guys right now. So we got these right here. These are some aero wheels. These are the 15 inch wheels on a 235 70. 15 tire so these are the front ones the back ones are a lot thicker or we got some Kriggers just like the old charger wheels except the, the tires were like Dunlop or Dunlop whatever you call it and the wheels were American racing wheels but these are very similar or we got some uh, like drag car some drag cars style wheels right here so these are 14s these are really small i don't know if these are going to clear because the car has disc brakes in the front i know on uh, a body you can't fit 14 inch wheels with the 73 and up uh caliper assembly but actually i think these are actually let me see what these are oh no way these are 14s i think yeah these are four so it should be fine i don't know why these look much smaller but these are much smaller. That's another one of the front ones. And then these are the back ones. These are 255-50 R15. So the wheels my dad had, the wheel setup he had on the last charger was 255 60s on front and then 275 60s in the back on the 15 inch wheel. Um, but yeah, so I was just joking about the wheel selection. These are the only ones that are gonna fit. The other wheels over there are actually for those right there are actually for my truck and I don't know if I'm going to use the arrows or whatever, but I'm actually doing the axle change because it's five lug now instead of six lug. So I got to finish that up. Well, let's get back to our Mopar. So yeah, I'm just going to be installing these wheels. Nothing big. I just got to. I promised my friend Chris on Instagram that I'd make a video. So, so here's your video, Chris. <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Let me uh, start jacking everything. I got to get a new jack because this thing has like, if this thing was a car, it would have like 400,000 miles on it. Like this thing is, I've had it for three years and I've beat the crap out of it with everything I've used it for. Also my cherry picker, I need a new cherry picker. So I can't, we can't motor swap this. Oh yeah, that big old dent right there. It's gonna need new valence. But it does have a sway bar, that's good. It's gonna need a new grill. Unless, it, I don't think this could be fixed. Yeah, I don't think so, but. Oh, the cool thing about these is, um, I did not know that this year charger and earlier, they had the vacuum powered uh, pop-up headlights. I mean, vacuum powered, uh, this thing because uh, on the 70 charger that my dad had it was uh it was electrical not vacuum powered but all right let me uh, let me start setting up for this
Real quick, here's the difference between the old front tire and the rear front tire. I mean the old front tires. The old front, this is the difference between the old front tire and the new front tire. So this is a lot shorter, but I think it is a little bit thicker. I don't know, this, either way, this would be better. A little better looking. I just gotta go find the caps. I don't know where I left those. So I'll go find those. In the meantime, you guys can see all this crap. Uh, so it does have disc brakes. Uh, I mean, that's, it looks like the bushings on these control arms were replaced not too long ago. They actually look pretty, they actually look pretty good compared to everything else. Uh, yeah. Not bad. All right, let's finish this up. So of course something always has to go wrong. I don't have the proper lug nuts to fully put this in. And I think my dog pissed on this while I was looking for the caps. Get out of here, Charlie, go. Um, but I mean, this is kind of what it's gonna look like from the front. Let me see if I could drop it a little bit. So yeah, that's pretty much what it's gonna look like. It is jacked up a little bit more, but uh, as you can see, it's gonna be a lot bigger tires for sure. Uh, I can maybe just roll this one onto the back so you guys can see and get an idea. Some somewhat of an idea what it's gonna look like. It looks pretty badass. Uh, but unfortunately I can't put them on. So I'm gonna order those lug nuts and then I'll I guess I'll finish this up another day. But at least you guys know what's going on here with this charger. So that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I'm gonna try to get those lug nuts by next week and then hopefully i can install that make sure to follow my instagram because i do a lot of stuff on there a lot less on here so subscribe to the channel as well uh what else am i supposed to tell you to do yeah subscribe follow my instagram and that should be it